Righty ho, fellow dark soldiers. Today's episode is the app one. It's really simple to use. As you can see, I'm using RB or R1, and that is focusing on my right arm, and I'm firing bolts out of slot number one. So LB and L1 is going to also fire bolts from slot one, but now L, I'm using my left arm. Now to use slot number two, you're going to use the lower bumper buttons. So RT or R2, I'm picking my right arm and I'm shooting out of slot two. Now I'm not in power stance, so I'm able to pick left arm or right arm. And no matter which configuration you're using, uh, you'll be able to pick slot one or slot two for the bolts you want to fire. So right now I'm going into power stance. Your right arm is still going to be independent when you use the right bumper buttons. So your RB, R1, RT, and R2 is going to determine the slot of bolt you fire. Now check this out. There's 6, 12, 18 bolts I just shot. Because in power stance, when you use your left bumper buttons, you're, you're, you can pick slot 1 or slot 2 bolts, but you're firing both avalons at the same time. So here I'm with the right arm, slot two. And I'm now gonna use both avalons to shoot six, 12, 18 bolts out of slot two with my LT or L2 buttons. Now when you two-hand the avalon, you'll be able to pick from your slot one or slot two bolts. So your RB or R1 is gonna fire from slot one while you're two-handing the avalon. And the same thing goes as before, your RT or R2 buttons are gonna fire from your slot two bolts. Now while you're two-handing the avalon, you're able to bring up the crosshairs. So when you press LB or LT, L1 or L2, it's gonna zoom in on the center of the screen where the camera was looking. Not, which, not the direction your guy is pointed or what he sees, but what the camera on your screen sees. It's gonna zoom to center. Two-handing the Avalon is the only way they can bring up the crosshairs. It's not going to work even if they only had one Avalon equipped. You have to two-hand it to enter that first-person shooter look-alike mode. Now I have 45 Endurance on this build. Uh, as you can see, I'm letting off three volleys of arrows with 45 Endurance before I need to let it recharge. I'm sure with 40 Endurance, you could also do the same. So here's a few pointers. In power stance, you can shoot both avalons at the same time while you're standing still. But if you backstep and go to fire, it's going to limit you to the use of only one avalon. Same thing when you're walking. You can walk around all day long, do 360s and shoot whatever you want to do. You can walk fast and shoot. You're going to shoot both avalons. But in power stance, when you go to run, as soon as you shoot, you're limited to one avalon. Now keep this in mind because if you're on the move and on the go, watch when you're running, you're going to have to stop to shoot both. And right when I was done, I got an invader. And I didn't really know if I wanted to tape this because it's the first time I actually ever tried it. These actually aren't even upgraded, but here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I need to be on the move. As you can see, he's rolling at me. He's actually doing a pretty good job of staying close. And I just have to keep, keep my distance. I'm getting stuck, right? He's making me look like a bobblehead, a Throne Defender bobblehead. Because, again, I shoot, as I'm reloading, he hits me a bunch of times, I can't get away. So I was like, screw this, I'm running away from you, and I'm getting as much distance as I can, because I can't one-shot him. It's a little different whenever you can one-shot somebody, but you wanna be on a move and dodge like that. I reloaded and I dodged. And luckily I won that match. I didn't want to die on my own video, but thanks for watching.